Hi, I'm Sean. This is Shani Reads. Um, it's Friday. I thought I'd do a little bit of a Friday Reads. I'm a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I've been to the osteopath this morning because I've got a bad shoulder and she's been kind of doing these sort of painful uh, manipulations. And then um, we also had some acupuncture on it this morning as well. And acupuncture often makes me feel kind of a bit spacey. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's where we are with that. Um, and this week as well, as long as, as well as my shoulder, I, I endure, as well as my shoulder, I've just felt generally not 100%, so just like a little bit achy, a little bit sleepy, So and I think that has contributed to not being able to settle on a book, or not kind of um, being into anything I've picked up, uh, so yeah, it's not been a kind of, I don't know, it's been a bit of a frustrating <laughs> reading week, but um, I've got a couple of books um, I, I'm kind of got on the go, and I and I feel better today, despite the spacey uh, uh, acupuncture. So I do have um, a couple of books I'm reading, and two books I'm thinking about. So one of the ones I'm reading is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Camera, and I'm reading this one with my friend Anna. Um, and this is nonfiction, and it's um, about indigenous wisdom, scientific knowledge, and the teaching of plants. It's got a blurb by Elizabeth Gilbert on the front which says a hymn of love to the world and um, I am really enjoying it. I haven't read that much of it so far but Robin Walker is a scientist and um, she teaches, she's like a professor at university but she's also an enrolled member of the citizen Potawatomi nation so this book is kind of drawing um, from both uh, parts of her knowledge so it's it's scientifically based but then it also draws on this indigenous wisdom and I just think that's a really interesting um, way of writing and she was saying that uh, when she went to university she had to almost like shut which would have been in the 70s I think she had to kind of shut down this sort of indigenous wisdom that she had about the plants because it wasn't scientific um, and I guess it wasn't respected and yeah and I, I'm really liking it Um it does remind me a little bit uh, in style I guess of uh, Gary Snyder because he often writes of the natural world and and draws in this indigenous wisdom as well so yeah I'm liking it so far it's it's a little bit dense so it's a bit of a you know I'm gonna read and sit down and focus on it so it's not one of those ones to read if you're a little bit sleepy not feeling well uh yeah so but I'm enjoying it a lot and then the other one I've got which I've read um three stories of so far is the short story book by Karen Russell by um by Orange World called Orange World and um, this is the kind of UK cover so I've seen the American one which I um which I liked but I really love the little illustration and it's kind of cute as well um I haven't read any Karen Russell before and I think that's ridiculous because I feel like Karen Russell is quite me I think it's because she's mainly short stories which I often get put off but um I am enjoying her um she is or her writing is great and it has such weirdness to it but not that kind of it feels like a slightly contained weirdness so um there's one story where uh, a couple go to joshua tree and one of them one of them um is kind of slightly overtaken by a plant um but i guess it could be just you know it's just quite subtle weirdness i guess subtle but out and out weirdness uh yes yeah, so i've read three of them and um, the first three which are the Prospectors, The Bad Graft and Bog Girl are Romance and I think The Prospectors is my favourite so far about these two girls in the depression who go to a party and then the party is not quite what it seems. So yes, I am going to read more Karen Russell. Um, let me know which of the other ones you like. That's that one. The two massive books. So this, this seems like it seems like a mistake but it's from the library so it's a free mistake and it's the pride of the orange tree by samantha shannon it's a big fantasy book i've heard there's lesbian dragons in it but i don't know if that's like a big deal or if it's just things that people are picking up on but it says it's a world divided a queendom without an heir an ancient enemy awakens i mean it doesn't really i'm like drawn to it and repelled by it in equal measures um but lots of people i like have liked it so um, I, I thought I'd have a little go and I don't know what's going to happen here but I will have a little go if you've read it let me know 
I'm not big on fantasy, and, and this one is straight fantasy. I'm not putting the terminology either, but I prefer books where um, I'm led gently into the fantasy world. So, uh, like, you know, maybe there's a fairy world just underneath or to the side or through some trees or you have to go through a waterfall to get that stuff. I kind of cope with a little bit better, but when I'm just straight into dragons, I don't know. I will have a go. And then the other one is Ducks Newburyport by Lucy Ellman. Oh, it's got a little duck just there um it's massive as well and this is one again that I was I've been thinking about and I am kind of compelled by and I just bought it it came in the post today I ordered it from Hive um yes long listed for the booker of course uh I like the look of it I like the sound of it I I don't mind a massive book it's huge isn't it it's like is it about a thousand pages um but I think I think it's going to be good and I will let you know, let me know if you've read it. I know that Charlotte Tidebaum has been reading it and uh, I think she was liking it and then she just, I was like, shall I buy it? And she was saying, well, it's kind of like, um, what did she say, like Ulysses? And I was like, that's not helping. <laughs> and uh, then she was like, it's like Virginia Woolf. And I was like, okay. Anyway, I bought it. So yeah, I'm excited, nervous about that. So that is my Friday. Um, I don't have anything to do for the rest of the day and I think I might just kind of do a bit of resting up. I feel that would be a good idea. Um, and maybe eat some nice food. I've already had a vegan croissant. I've got some salad. <laughs> so yes, have a lovely weekend. Let me know what you think of these books. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know if you're excited about any new books that are coming out that you feel I should know about. And I will see you soon. Bye.